Hello sexy souls and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to have a little bit of encouragement for all of you. Um, we have just had a freaking shift. <laughs> uh, I don't know if everyone had really felt the energies um, with that lunar eclipse but I certainly did. Um, I feel really good today. This is the day, a the day after. Um, but I had a very profound experience and still don't know how I feel about it, don't know what to think. Um, but le yeah, let me know down below in the comments. Have you experienced anything? Do you feel a little bit different? Do you feel like your intuition or anything has gotten a little bit heightened or something along those lines? Because I have some weird things um, happening that I can't really explain yet, but I hopefully will be able to in the future. Um, but yeah, I just think that right now all we need is a little bit of a positive message. Um, so hopefully that's what we get. <laughs> I am going to channel at the beginning um, before I pull tarot as usual. So we'll see whatever I see. And hopefully the message is going to be positive. I'm going to ask for positive messages to be shown to me. So usually my guides uh, stick with that. Uh, unless they really need to tell someone something else. But anyway, uh, I don't have any piles um, and I'm not really in the mood to, <laughs> to pick up crystals. Um, so just use your intuition. We're going to have three groups. So choose a number between one, two or three. And whenever you are ready, you can go down to the description box and we will have your time stamp there. We, me, or someone might even put it in the comment section. Um, but yeah, we will begin with pile number one. Okay, pile number one. So before we begin, I'm going to channel some messages first from my guides and then I'll pull, as usual, um, tarot to just clarify and see where else we can pull information from. Oh. Uh, I've seen a falcon. I don't know if anyone has a connection with falcon. I've seen a, f I would have called it an eagle. That's what I would have said. Sorry, I had to open my eyes there because it was, I'll just explain. So I thought it was an eagle, but then I heard falcon, which I don't know much about falcons, but that's just what I heard. Um, and it was like swooping down and it was like flying along the water and then all of a sudden it was like hands came in and just like woke, woke me up. Um, so I don't know what that, that was very like, um, uh, intense on my heart. So maybe someone has had a had a dream that woke them up in shock uh recently or you've had um some of you may have realized that you've been kind of moving too fast in the way that you want things to manifest you're moving too fast along your journey is what I'm hearing. So you're kind of, you're skipping out parts um, that are the main, I'm hearing that are the main focus for you to kind of learn from. You're, you're not really, you're kind of skipping over, which is good, like you can, I see that this, this group with that like perspective from above, it's like you really do know where you're going in life and you do you can move fast and once you get a momentum going you kind of just soar through life in a way um but with that swooping down and then washing your face it's like you need to wake up a little bit and you know start this <laughs> bit of qigong might help you tap the body and wake up a little bit because uh 
good things are coming, but you need to, I, I've been getting this all year for a lot of people, but I think that you really just need to slow it down. There's not anything that you really need to do right now. And there's also, it's not really, especially at this time of the year, there should be no new relationships. You should not be wanting to start new relationships. I'm not saying like, don't if there's someone there in your life now, but for anyone that's like kind of wanting to search for that, that's that's coming. Let that kind of like do what it wants to do. I don't know. It's like this is over here. You shouldn't really try and make it happen quicker or anything. It's not going to happen the way that you want it to happen because right now you just need to kind of slow down. That's what I'm hearing. Um... And please, I'm hearing, please don't let others fill you into doing what they want you to do. Because you know deep down that they, they're not actually interested. I don't know, that just came through. I don't know what that means. Someone might need that message. There's some people who are a little bit nuts. A little bit bonkers. A little bit like fun, but also... Be aware of this energy because this energy kind of is putting you a little bit like um, staticky, let's say. Energetically, you're a little staticky. Uh, it's not a, it's not a bad energy in the sense that, you know, they, they're having a really negative effect on you. It's just like, stay away from the bonker people. <laughs> bonker people? The people are a little bit bonkers. Just, um... Because I, I feel like it's not giving you um, time to kind of just just sit and kind of think about some things that are meant to come up. Again, um, I feel like this year has, has been a lot about growth. And now you're at the top and you feel like you, you're, you're trying to climb. You're trying to fly, basically. You're trying to keep climbing, but you have nowhere else to climb because it's, it's, you're not... You're not meant to go any further now. You're kind of there. It's kind of now to take it slow. It's not that you're going downhill. It might feel like it's you're going downhill because we don't ever want to stop working or doing things. So that's just what I'm feeling from that. Um, yeah, yeah. Two of cups, okay. For the main focus. Uh... Someone's so no uh, no not, not sick as in like it makes me feel sick, but someone's just so like uh mm, like velvet <laughs> velvet cake. What do you call that cake? I don't know. There's just something so delicious about the friendship that you have. It's a little bit saucy. Um, and just let let me see what other cards come up, but. You know, their energy might be fun. It might be really like out, out out of the box and exciting, completely different to who you are. And it brings a little bit of the good side out in you. But right now, um, the, the, the timing for that energy up there and in here inside of you is not correct. Yeah. Okay. It's not, there, again, this is nothing negative. There's nothing negative here. I'm just saying... Um, for your own good, for you to be able to to be able to connect better with your own self, by yourself. Um, okay. Okay, two wants to come out, so let's just put that there and that there. Okay. Yeah, this person. This person that I'm talking about, the main person that's in the limelight right now um, is you. I feel like a lot of the attention is on you right now with this person and the chemistry between you and them is becoming a lot stronger and there is a lot of reasoning behind it but there's still with... Um,
it's almost like there is still a little bit of stuff that's it's kind of um evaporating from this card from the the seven of cups if you can see like the the steam here it's almost like there is um a transition with you happening um and there's still some things that you're not really truly feeling right now and you will understand them later on i'm not exactly sure what that means but this is what's coming through so right now you don't really understand it because you're kind of trying to you know focus on your work and also focus on kind of balancing having fun with others and also being serious about you know changing your career path changing things financially in general you're trying to juggle like your social life or just your you know interest in this person and also not letting this person take control over your work or anything like that because right now you are definitely being a lot more um well known well known but also like you are being rewarded um not not so much up there more so down here people are coming to you asking you for help maybe in your work um or just asking for your general guidance and where they're going with their life um i don't know because a lot of people look up to what you have to say and they see it from a perspective of like wow i really you just gotta have you just got to understand that you have a very likable personality and sometimes you also need to learn I think you are learning how to tone it down a little bit um and I think that this person kind of takes that away because they don't look at you as like someone you know who's going to help them fix their problems because they don't really care about the problems I don't know this person here in this this two of cups just the energy I'm getting from it it's like it's such a strong bond and it's going to it's going to get stronger but just right now i just don't want i don't want you to only focus on that i think we'll see what we have here treasure island okay number nine okay your relationship is a treasure, providing even more than you need. But you may not see that right now. No matter how long you've been together, you and your partner are always, could be a friend either, you and your friend are always discovering hidden gems about yourselves and each other. Now is a time of discovery. It's as if everything is in sync and everything is new again. Romance blooms and love is in the air. You can be assured that this partnership will bring you a great will bring you great gifts and valuable lessons. Keep your heart open. The message of this card is to celebrate love and what it teaches you. Yeah, it's there's a lot of this that's why I'm I'm picking that up. It's like there is lessons here that need to be learned. Some people who are not in the relationship yet, um, it's 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 like vice versa. So anyone that is in a relationship, you're learning to bring back that friendship element to the relationship. And anyone that isn't in a relationship, and they're more friends with this person, you're learning how to get past the friendship stage. There's there's a lot to learn here, um, but good things are coming for you guys and yeah i i hope that message resonated with you and i hope it gives you something to go off um if you enjoyed these readings i have started patreon um the link will be down below i am doing more in-depth readings longer readings um and mixing a little bit of astrology into it as well and i'm also doing uh separate videos on like the occult and witchcraft and helping you understand um how i do my magic so that you can kind of get inspired to do your own so if you would be interested in joining yeah the link is in the description for my patreon um and if you want a private reading the link to my website is down there as well so 
thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in the future. Goodbye. Hello, group number two. So uh, before we begin, I will channel messages to see what wants to come through, um, what you really need to hear right now from your guides, from your higher self, from God, from whoever you want to receive the message from. Okay, um, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail because this is uh, personal for um, some people. <laughs> well, it's, it's very detailed, but it's giving me all um, a few different messages. Uh, so I'm seeing someone having to walk around almost in a circle. So... This could be just you, you're, you're having to make a decision about something and you're constantly kind of like agitated and walking around, pacing and waiting for something to happen. Um, on a personal level, I just want to say that for some people that are worried about someone who is sick, um, very innocent person, this person could be a child either, uh, if you're worried about someone who is... Um, sick just know that you will be able to um you'll be able to see them soon and it's going to be okay don't worry everything is going to be fine it feels like i just released i feel like i just released a bit of your anxiety I, I'm not feeling it don't worry but I, I am but it's not affecting me it's just like I felt a lot of you guys in group number two just need to breathe because everything is going to be okay it's almost like your reaction to like imagine someone trying to like bang on glass and the thumping is again you're having to be patient you're having to observe something and it's almost like you're trying to bang on the glass. But if you just kind of calm down a bit, you could just, it's like you're picking up a spear and you're just going to, like with something like a spike and the spike is going to crack and like everything will kind of fall. It's almost like the reality of what you're making up in your head is just going to all shatter before your eyes. And then everything will make sense and you will feel a lot calmer in life. It's just some things you're just not. Your, your re reaction right now is very much like. Um, you know when you're a kid and you're just having a breakdown. <laughs> and people are trying to calm you down. And you're, I don't know if you've ever had this. But maybe it's just something I've felt for you guys. Because um, I've had it once. But I feel like it's it's showing me back to um, a part of my past um, when someone's trying to hold me down and I just like get off me, like trying to pull them away um, because I just wanted to express myself. But at the same time, I just didn't really know why I was getting so chaotic with this expression. I feel like recently you just your expression has been over the top. Um, and it's because you just, um, the, everything all together has kind of made you just feel like this and you need to just go and just go laser focus and focus on exactly what I really think meditation, I literally think that getting a candle and looking at the flame and just focusing on the flame, seeing whatever thoughts come up and just try and letting them go. Um, you guys need meditation. Everything is going to be okay. You just need that laser focus, um, which requires you to take a lot of 
time to ground, a lot of time to meditate, a lot of time to just work on your mind. Um, because your mind is the only thing that is letting you go and react in the way that you are. Okay, so uh, that's all I have to say. But the message that you need to hear right now is everything is going to be okay. There isn't everything that you think is happening. It's not exactly the full picture. There's more you need to observe. It's almost like walking around this big glass ball that I was seeing. So you need to look from every different angle. The whole 360 basically. Um, okay. That's what I was getting for you, group number two. Hope that resonated for someone. Maybe the cards will have a better message for some people. Okay. Interesting. We have the Nine of Cups reversed. Eight of Swords reversed. Yeah, like this is changing. Wow, I, I've never had, I've never really looked at this Eight of Swords reversed before, but it's like it's upright as well. Interesting. Um, it's kind of a nice vision I'm getting. This is like, wow. Lot, literally like everything I was just talking about it's just coming up again um, so we'll just go over it, what I'm seeing you need a lot of rest <laughs> you need to take a lot of time to just rest um, because currently I feel like you think that everything that you've been hoping and wishing for is just kind of seeming to be going the opposite direction you feel like a lot of things are not adding up or not feeling as good as you thought they would feel um certain certain things are being it's like you're you're, you're opening up to people and you're also realizing that they're not their reactions aren't the best and that um a lot of the things that they're saying just don't really make you feel good about yourself it's just it's almost like everything Everything in life just seems a little bit flipped upside down and you can't make sense of why it's happening. It's, I don't want to sound, I said I was gonna make this positive and the, the thing is, I can, but I would rather tell you the truth. You guys, you just really need to focus on what it is that's making you afraid right now, what is making you anxious because, um, the, the pains, the, 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 the tenseness that you're having in your body, this kind of tightness, it's all because there is too much anxiety around certain things in your life. The Five of Swords, again, I said it's um, a lot of stuff needs to happen in your mind. You need to speak a little bit better to yourself. I, I do recommend going to speak to someone and it's not that you're going backwards, okay? You're not going backwards to anything. You're you're actually moving way. You're gonna move. You're gonna propel yourself way forward, and everything is gonna be so much better if you decide to kind of just ask for help from someone. I'm um, okay because this is kind of what I felt um, when I said like someone walking around the outside. This is the reversal, but I'll just show you it up right. It's like uh, that was what I was seeing, but when you reverse it, it's like it's almost like the mirror is on the floor and not standing upright. And this is what I was seeing. It was almost like your higher self. Whenever you get into meditation, and again, ravens everywhere here. So, um, ravens for me signify your fears or your inner demons trying to, you know, distract you and keep everything on chaos and fighting those demons can be really really hard um inner it's not don't get freaked out not there's not demons coming to get you um but it's just your own inner demons your own darkness 
Um, and with this being reversed for the first time ever because of the visual, I'm seeing it as a very positive thing. Uh, well, actually, the Eight of Swords reversed is quite good. It means that it's coming to an end anyway. Um, but it's almost like your higher self wants you to breathe. It's like you feel choke. You feel like you're about to choke sometimes. Uh, some of you. Um, and this is like this resistance of like moving into the higher the higher chakras moving into these um three chakras uh a lot of things are changing for you guys a lot of things i want to give you like a positive message though um so we're gonna use this Oh, <laughs> I knew you had a really good heart. Protect yourself from people who don't. It's so funny. Whenever I, I used to be called the Raven Tarot, if anyone remembers that. Um, and whenever I kind of got a lot of shit out of the background that was in the shadow, I started to see owls, um, symbolism for owls, and yeah, it just, it kept showing up for me, and owls is about wisdom, um, for me it's about being um, a witch, being someone who is of wisdom, which means wisdom, that's the main meaning for it, so owls kept bringing, bringing me back to um, what I really love, um, so I feel like that's what we want to we want to focus on here as well with this card. I think that you really need to try and think about the things that really make your heart happy. What are the things from your past that really just filled you up with joy? Um, because now where where you are in life, whenever you go back again, it's like you're not you're never going backwards, but you're going back to retry something that just wasn't the right timing it's now the right timing to take some things from your past and use them through the things you've learned from what you've done now um and then moving on into the future it's like you're moving on it's like nothing that was in your past didn't happen just for no reason it happened because you were gonna need that right now and you need something from your past that is going to help you manifest what you want to what you want to do in life um so 35 and you have a loyal heart. That's the message from the card. 35. I can, this book, there we go. I can never get it on the page I want to. Uh, no. Okay. Your long-term loyalty to your goals is becoming evident in the world of conditions where your aspirations for success assume from in reality assume form in reality. Success is finally taking shape. If you are loyal to your dreams, faithful to your plans while remaining flexible and devoted to serving others, you will be shown proof of your true prosperity. This is a time for Joyful celebration of spirit. You're manifesting a new partner. Um, I think that a lot of you do want a relationship. Some of you may be just wanting to help uh, fix certain elements of your own self and how you are in relationships. Um, but I do think that, that you're, you're starting to realize that loyalty and someone being loyal to you comes from stuff here it's not always that people aren't loyal to you and everyone is against you it's you're you're not working through what wants to come up now there's something that wants to come up and show you that this is how it's going to be okay whenever you cut that that and that you'll see everything change and one of the main things that i'm getting through is that <coughs> If you keep helping others while also looking after yourself, 
you are going to be looked after, especially in the year ahead. Next year is going to be a year that definitely changes massively for you in good ways. Um, it's going to be a lot more unique than this year. This year is quite boring with all the lockdowns and everything. But as long as you're looking after yourself and looking after always, you will always be rewarded by the universe. And that's what they want to let you know. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's all I have for you, group number two. If you enjoyed this reading and you would like more readings from me, I have a Patreon now. Um, the link is down below and I do more in-depth readings and I also um, do vlogs. <laughs> I'm going to start doing vlogs um, and sharing a little bit more about my craft and what kind of witchcraft and stuff I do for my own self. Um, so if you would like to join, the link is down below. If you would like a private reading from me, the link to my website is also down below. Um, but other than that, thank you so much for watching, everybody, and I will see you all in the future. Goodbye. Hello, group number three. So, as always, I'm going to channel a little bit, little bit. going to channel a little bit before we begin. Um, and then I'll use the tarot cards after. <coughs> Give me a second, I'm trying to make sense of what, um, what that is. Okay. For you, group number two, group number three, sorry. Um, I feel like at the minute, you might feel a little bit tied down and restricted in your love life. And I literally saw like these veins growing up from the ground and then wrapping around your wrists and then pulling your hands to the ground. And I wasn't really understanding this. And I was like, okay, what is this? And then thorns grew and there was pain and there was a little bit of like, resistance and just being like but then in the background I realized that there was a rose bush so I was seeing all the roses behind me and that's when I felt love so There's a little bit, um, there's also a little bit of like not, there's, you're feeling kind of claustrophobic as well. You're feeling like um, you don't really have your own space. You feel that you just want to almost be in a field in a rose, <laughs> in a garden with roses would be much better. Um, you just want some fresh air. You just want just space. You just need space. And I, th I think that maybe as well for a lot of you, this whole lockdown has really just been like messing with your mind and it's at the point now where you're not sure if you're just going to give in in some way. I don't know what you're want. I don't know what it is, but it's like, your guides are saying that everything is going to be okay. You, The minute you decide to give in, I don't know why they're making me do this. The minute you decide to give in or let go, those vines, this pain of, you know, having to kind of hold on tight. Um, it, 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 you're, you're literally, you just have to choose to release what it is that needs to be released um, and everything is going to move on very very quickly um, there is already massive 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 energetic shifts for you 
and it's almost like the way I, I just want to say the way that I see it is like you're standing there like with your arms down and you're like like this but the 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 veins have already removed they've already been re removed you still feel the pain of something that's just it's just been really hard to cover a lot of wounds all at once uh, it's not it's not much it's not so much trauma it's just a lot of a lot of thorns have been pulled out all at once and it just this year maybe has just been a lot like and it's been like you just need a break. You just need some air. You just need to get out. You need some space. You just need some time alone to breathe and just be with yourself. And I don't know if you've had that time. Um, or you haven't had... You ha you, there's, you might have had some time to do that, but you haven't had it in the way that's, um, that your soul kind of is uh, giving you visions of. Because just remember, those visions are actually already manifested, um, is what your your higher self kind of wants to say, is like, this idea of getting that sort of space, getting away and getting on that kind of a trip, that is already happened. It's already coming for you watching this now. Um, don't ever doubt that you're, you're going to be <gasps> trapped forever. This is not the way that things are going to go. A lot of us are going to move into... An energetic space that is way more freeing than we have been living than this year anyway for that's for sure is what I'm hearing and feeling um, I'm also saying saying be brave about sorry um, be brave about the, the the changes that you want to make to your physical appearance. It's not that you're um, being egotistical or anything. It's just that you want to just do things for yourself and you want to change certain aspects of your face and also um, your health and everything. And it's someone's. Re it's not really anyone's business. And you're going to be really happy with the results. There's no. There's no need to fear about you know, these changes that you feel that you need to make, you're going to make them, you're going to work your ass off to, or you have already been working your ass off to get these changes, um, or to see these changes, um, okay, so that's just something that I wanted to throw out there, whoa, I was getting a little bit tired, <laughs> sometimes when I feel like, oh, I'm getting sleepy, I have to like, whew, suck myself back in, okay, uh, I don't really remember anything from that, to be honest. It's like gone. So let's just see what the cards have to say. Um, I hope, I don't even know if there, I actually don't know if there was a positive message with that. But let's just see what comes up. Queen of Cups. Always with this Queen of Cups, I feel like, you know... It's time to just celebrate that you have made it through this year, this whole cycle. I'm looking at that window in the background as astrology, the wheel, the astro astrological wheel. And she's holding up that cup and she's like, you know what? This year has been a shit show. Maybe some of you are very much into your astrology and you're like, this year has been a shit show, but look. It's my time to shine. <laughs> I've made it through. I've also learned how to love myself more. And you you really are going to be rewarded next year. Because um, you kind of like, I think that you've your expectations about things have been actually quite strength. We have strength. Um, your expectations about certain things that were coming this year might have been kind of, you know, anticlimactic is that the word and with the strength card it's like again um the infinity symbol it's like you it's almost like next year i don't know if this is a positive thing for some people but i'm trust me it is it's like next year is like a repeat but in reverse so it's like 
almost similar situations, but you're going to be like, oh, do you remember last year when I acted like that? Well, I'm not going to act like that now because I've learned from last year. So you might have, I feel like you might think that right now you've come so far, but you always are coming so far. You're coming, you're always moving forward. So it's not like in the, in the current moment, always be grateful for where you are, okay? Um, but always know that there's more to come. And, and you don't actually have to ruin the surprise by always trying to know what's coming in the future. But I just want to let you know that right now you're doing great, but you're also going to be doing even better in the future because I feel like you're going to know how to fix yourself without having help from other people. It's almost like you're going to be your own, you know, healer in a way. And I think that some of you do have like healing hands as well. Just with that cup when she's holding, when that queen of, when that queen of cups is holding the cup, I feel like um, most of your heart chakra energy is in your hands. So you've got very, you know, good hands for creating. Maybe it just means you're very creative with your hands because loving energy is also creative. Um, Okay, three of cups. I'm actually feeling that someone recently or um, you're going to hear about it. I think that when you're with with your friends there, um, or friends, or just when you're out, you always seem to get yourself caught in the middle of a situation that is, it's, it's fine, but it's just, you just don't want to be there. Um, and I think that that's, you kind of have, you kind of have learned most of that most of the lessons that was needed to be learned from that experience. I think that you know how to have fun, but you also now are a little bit aware of like, okay, I can have fun, but I also need to be aware of those times when I'm getting myself stuck between um, two buns, you know what I mean? <laughs> You're not, you are not a McDonald's burger, okay? Um, you are not crap. So don't get yourself in crap situations, basically, is what I'm feeling. Uh, I, I do think that you've learned that anyway and you're, you've completely moved on and that any drama that you think that you're going to get involved in, it's kind of like it's not really even in the cards for you anymore. It's like more so you understand it now. You've learned your lesson with certain people and just what they're like. You just know what they're like. So you're not really going to have that anymore. You're going to literally be able to just enjoy the moment with them and it's not going to be about like, you know, Oh, you're going to be happy, 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 happy. <laughs> so, so um, yeah, I love this card. Cool. Um, sorry, I'm going to, it's number 26. 26. Sorry, I read Oracle cards from the book because I prefer to read them because people put work in well not to say people don't put work into tarot cards but like you know you know what I mean be quiet <laughs> uh okay <clears throat> the oracle message your desires are effortlessly fulfilled now find joy in the present moment whoever's pile number three by the way this is just amazing whatever is happening and present moment whatever is happening and be satisfied with things as they are you're free from the shackles <laughs> i literally don't remember so please i hope that this um i am right is this the pie that had the i literally don't remember because i i i feel like <laughs> time is so weird at the minute so i don't even feel like time is weird like this year feels really long, but at the same time, it feels like it went like that. I think this is 5D kind of shit. Um, but anyway, I don't remember if this is the pile that had the 
either it's pile two or pile this three with the roses and the thorns anyway going on um you're free from the shackles of longing and able to experience the liberation that comes from actually being happy moment to moment for you have chosen happiness over yearning for it now is the time for feeling joy for the sake of joy and experiencing contentment no none of this is because of something outside of yourself your happiness is a result of your being at one with spirit's plan for your life all is well the tide is in for now enjoy playfully splashing in it love that that's amazing that's a really good that was the best message ever um but yeah let me know if this was the pied with the thorns <laughs> and the roses um down below in the comments if you do like these readings um i only upload once every week on youtube but i upload again a few times on my patreon i have different content on there so if you would like to join me there the link is down below you can join me on patreon um or if you just want a private reading the link to my website is down below as well i just have to keep saying these now because i don't promote myself really at all <laughs> so <laughs> there you go there's my self promo um but yeah thank you all so much for watching and i will see you all in the future goodbye